Krumusta and Maayun Bun Tag, right here from the beautiful island of Leyte. Guys, welcome back to our channel, and today we'd like to take you on a very exciting episode as we journey up the hill to our construction site in Dolores. Today we're going to be meeting with our highly skilled engineer face to face so that we can discuss the next exhilarating stages of our home construction. But that's not all we have in store for you today. We're going to be rolling up our sleeves and I will be personally marking out the lighting systems, the switches, the power points and the ultimate electrical setup for our home so that we can achieve that dream vision that we truly desire for this home. Guys, today is about the finer details, making sure that you make the right decisions and Apple think your choices to be able to enjoy the home that you live in and make sure that you don't have any future regrets. So that's enough talk. Let's head on up the hill and let's dive right into this video. Alrighty, I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting on Jan, as always. So off to the hardware store just to buy some um, just some measuring items, some line marking spray, a tape measure. Um, yeah, I'll think of the rest of the stuff I need when I get there, I'm sure. And I'll probably buy a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff that I don't need. So that always happens when you play with tools. I'm sure most of you blokes out there know what I'm talking about, right? Let's get a move on. Yeah. All right, guys, so um, my ADD kicked in again. And on the way to the Emerald Mini Depot, we saw JB Rock, uh, which is a landscaping supplier, stone and concrete pavers, stone cladding, stone walls, um, bricks, general concrete, all sorts of different landscaping supplies basically. And um, we actually came across this on Adam and Jane's channel. Uh, they came here and bought a few supplies for their garden up in um, Dolores, which is very close to us. So guys, thank you for that. Um, we just noticed it along the way. So we thought we'd uh, stop and check it out. So let's go. There you go, so you've got some stone here. That's a pretty nice color. Got some nice small stack stone sort of stuff here as well. Comes in smaller batches, or sorry, smaller pieces I should say. It's just wrapped up like that. You pick up a bunch. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick up. Maybe we'll ask for some prices of a couple of products that we like just to give you guys an idea of how much this sort of stuff costs here as opposed um, to Australia or America or Western countries. But um, it's, it's pretty impressive. You can do quite a lot here. Hey, honey? Luck. They have anything you could possibly ever dream of. So you can honestly build, it seems you can honestly build a very modern Western style home right here in the Philippines. Um, and to be honest, I think they've got more variety and more choices than we do even back home. At least for the money that you pay, our stuff is just exorbitantly expensive and crap quality. It's all, all rubbish. And if you want real stone like this, you'll be paying through the roof. Here they've got marble bench tops, granite bench tops, and they probably cost as much as a laminate bench top does from Ikea. So, it goes to show how ripped off we are in our crappy country. Sorry I said crappy, but that's what I truly think. Um, there it is. What else have they got? Granite, marble. Yeah, there you go. Marble, pavers. Pretty cool, do like garden engine and stuff. Yeah, check this out, guys. Could be a bench top. Yeah. We'll kind of have the marble that we want, but I mean. Yeah, it's. Um... Oh, yeah. Pebbles, nice big white pebbles. Right there. Maroon, that oh, yeah. shapes. Little like stepping blocks, pavers here. That's pretty cool. A lot more around here. I like this too. Puzzle. Yeah, the puzzle pieces are pretty cool. So, I mean, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Like, if we go back to those over there, honey, 
the, the larger rock pieces because we're still deliberating whether we we bought some tiles from Wilcom oh no from Emerald that we liked um, to clad and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I will be I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos I will be uploading like a virtual tour of our house in its architectural rendered state um, all fully visualized with the materials and colors applied just so you guys actually can follow along when I'm talking about where we're going to be placing these claddings and these colors and all all the materials so that way you're not just there confused going I don't know what it looks like um, but So we're going to be trying to do some exterior stone cladding like for our, our pool and decking wall and for the um, entrance area, the porch, the front of the house. So we found a really nice brick that we like um, and it's probably going to be in this video. So we'll show you that but yeah it depends on the price of the, of the brick tile which is like a, I think they were a 30 by 60. So like your standard, you know, 300mm by 600mm rectangular tile or like a natural stone that's just um, cemented on or concreted onto the wall. So I think you pay per square metre per slab and you just get a square metre off the top and you just stack it in the back of your ute, bring it home and do it yourself or get somebody to do it. But Honestly, the one I like the most, I've already spotted it is either this one here. That one looks really good. And I really love this flagstone. That one was ours, I was Here. Yeah. The Cyclone Crazy Cut. Yes. That's the one I've been eyeing. What do you think, guys? And also, I just noticed another one in there, which is similar, but it's a sandstone right there. Sandstone Crazy Cut. I really like that one, too. And I think that one will give us the most contrast against the other tiles. No? Yeah. So this one's pretty nice. But that's probably, uh, I like that too though, you know, it's hard. What's this color? I mean, that one there is pretty good too, but it's too much grey because then the black wall is grey. I think it needs to be a little bit more. Like that more natural, more earth elements looking? Yeah. Earthy. Like this one here. Was that earthy tone? Yeah, see that one's got a little bit of sandstone colour in it, but it's also got the grey, which would really ma match the floor tiles. It didn't take us long, but that's that's probably my favorite one, honey. What do you think? This one is. I've been looking at this. Yeah. This is the one that I wanted. So, she likes it. it? I like it. Cyclone that's crazy we're getting somewhere. Cyclone crazy cactus. Yeah. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, we purchased um, 850 square metres here about four or five years ago, um, the same year that we got married here also. So today is about the house. This is the area, that's the house, and um, yeah, this is it. This is what our hopes and dreams are made of. This is what we've been really wanting to achieve for quite a while now. Um, and we're, we're really excited that it's already gotten to this stage. So obviously the house isn't finished yet. Um, money's coming in slow, but progress is being made and that's the major thing that counts. So 
Guys, try not to get disheartened if you're trying to do something in life that um, seems like it's an uphill battle and like it's really stressing you out, like it's something that um, you know seems almost impossible, like it's going to take a long time. Nothing good comes easy and you have to be willing if you really have a passion if you really have something that you know you want in your life there's no reason why you shouldn't and i keep looking down i'm trying not to trip because it's pretty muddy here so sorry about that but um if there's something you want in life just go and get it if your heart feels it forget what your brain tells you because your brain generally tends to interfere with your instincts and sometimes your instincts are probably more accurate than your thoughts it's easy to get distracted, sidetracked. Your mind can come up with convoluted ideas and thoughts as to why you shouldn't do this, as to why you should pursue something else or what seems more acceptable by society and maybe you want to uphold that stigma, maybe you want to be someone who is seen as doing the right thing by the perspective of other people in their judgment. Well we're here to challenge that and say don't. Do your own thing, be who you are, because you'll never be truly happy unless you are. I don't know what my wife is doing. There was a much easier way to get in than that. But, <laughs> yeah, she's gotta be different. That's why I love her, that's why I married her. She's, she's a sweet girl. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll take you on a little tour of our uh, concrete shack, which is sort of what it's looking like at the moment. I can't wait, we can't wait until this is fully finished. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's really going to be awesome. So what I'm thinking is to make the opening the same as that one, we just put more hollow blocks in here. And then we just close off this wall. So what we'll do in this, this corner here, we'll do a nice bookcase in there with some black shelving and put some marble tiles down. And just black shelvings across for a bookcase kind of look. All the way up to the ceiling. Three meter ceilings. So guys, three meter ceilings are standard here in the Philippines. That's what you get when you build a house. That's the entrance. And then that's our little uh, recess like buffet. Not buffet, like an entrance nook basically where we'll have like a floating shelf here with some LED strips underneath. We'll tile all that with marble. Marble look, not real marble, I'm not that rich. Um, yeah, and just put like a nice pendant light up in that top left corner or something like that. Try to make it quite nice. So we're gonna have big sliding doors here. That's gonna be an outdoor area. Above here is the rooftop. So that's what they call, this is the outdoor deck basically, but they call it a lanai in the Philippines. So we've got concrete, concrete floor up there. And then the stairs to get up, mind the dodgy wiring, will be right here, going all the way up to the rooftop. And then we've got our, this will be our main part of the kitchen area here. So we've got a pot filler above a 900 mil uh, electric stove or induction cooktop or whatever walk-in pantry in there and then like a coffee nook station there on the right and then we'll have our pantry cupboards there on the left and then cupboards 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 overhead cupboards fridge and then that'll be the sink there with oven and microwave built into the cabinetry here more bench tops and cabinets TV wall so this is the lounge area put like a bifold there or whatever Fixed glazing here, couch, L-shaped couch, and then into the hallway. So coming from the kitchen, dead ahead, that'll be our, uh, that'll be like the common CR, common bathroom, whatever. Um, plenty of goat poo. Our master bedroom here on the left. Coming on through. Yeah, no, they haven't cut it off yet because they, they don't know the size of the opening, but that's all right. So this is like a crack that you No. That one here. Where? This. Yes, it's a big one. But that, to me, doesn't look like that's a crack in the hollow block. What is that? That's just part of the concrete there. Can you fix? Yeah, that's just in the seam, so they'll have to just go over that again. That's a 
big one. We need to show that to the engineer. Yes. So that looks like it could be a weak spot. I don't know when that happened, but it's interesting. But yeah, so this is our, our master bathroom. So we're going to have a toilet here. And then twin vanity here. And then a shower over here. And then the door there into the master suite. Pretty good. Well, our master is huge. And then big glass sliders here. No, honey? Did you go inside this toilet? Yeah. There's pool here. Yeah, I know. That's what I stood in yesterday. Okay. I know it's there. Okay. And this is the column that's ready for our, um, for the protruding beam out at the front entrance where we're going to have our pedestrian access gate and all that sort of jazz. So, yeah. Um, we're here guys, we've made it this far, so there's no stopping now. Um, just gotta keep going, keep motoring on, stay committed, and um, yeah, stick at it. Get it all the way, get it done. It's gonna feel good when it's finished, I'm sure. Um, I haven't finished the tour, I'm already getting ahead of myself, so let's go back. Uh, coming out of our master, this is, this is going to be the laundry area. So this is the laundry hallway, as I call it my little invention no need for a proper laundry room i don't think we're going to have a washing machine here we're going to have so the washing machine will be here on the left nice bench top all the way across between these two walls um, between the master cr and the third bedroom uh, yeah some overhead cabinets and i'll do like a bulkhead between the walls as well and put a couple of down lights there that should make it look quite nice and define the hallway a little bit so that bulkhead the bulkhead above is basically going to connect flush with uh, with these two walls here above, which will give the hallway itself a bit of separation, and I think that looks quite nice. It'll be like a washing machine nook in there. So back to me, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and I'm in the second bedroom now um, with more poo in it. So there's some goats running around here and they just come and shit in the house, which is lovely. Leaving us a present. Um, that's okay. That's fine. Give them somewhere to live for now. They'll be nice and comfy. Um, so yeah, and there's going to be another like probably sliding door here for this bedroom. Decent sized bedroom actually. I'm quite happy with this. Into the hallway. This will lead back out the front to the carport. So we'll put a nice glass door here into the second bedroom where I'll probably create a similar style nook in there as well just as a feature for this bedroom and then we'll have some mirror cupboards going all the way spanning along these two walls just a 600 mil deep and then yeah a nice feature wall another sliding door for this bedroom so people can come in and out and um yeah the bed can just go up against that wall there i suppose and should look pretty good well first of all just a quick introduction, guys, meet Beespear from BDGM Constructions. This is the engineer who's highly skilled and he's the one that has whipped up this place and he's done a really solid job. It's looking great. So we're just going to go through a few things here and um, I've been doing the marking out. I'm not sure if you can see on the floor and on the walls. Just all the lighting set up and all that sort of stuff, the power outlets, where the fans and chandeliers, LED strips are going to be. So, but that's not important now. I'll just try to get them out of here as quickly as possible. So we'll go through a few things and um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, perfect. So what, what do you think, Beast Beard? Like, <laughs> yeah, pumpkin. <laughs> it's just growing randomly. It's, I saw yeah. it the other day. I came here to slash all these um, bush grasses. Oh. Oh. They found this and they just, okay, avoid it, avoid it, leave it. Yeah, leave it, that's good. We have veggie patch already. This area. This one. This and one. that bamboo there, that's the perimeter there. Yeah. That's the end. So we still have a little bit of room between the house and the I fence. One meat there, sir, look. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, one meat there. That's perfect. Look at that. That's the BS. So honestly, what, what do you think? Because I, 
The quote for the, um, the cistern tank here, well, that was pretty expensive. Do you think we can make it a bit smaller? Would that change much? Or? Yeah, we can, we can make it a smaller. Just to reduce it, because that, that was like 11 grand Aussie. Yeah. That's, uh, I really want to have something because it's nice to have the water, but I was also thinking... Mm. No. Why, why function? Uh, we don't have functions. If there's a crack, our water will goes down. Mm. That's why, in my calculation, the what is it? kayo ang kuan. The our rivers are sixteen mm. I mean, no, it's not the sixteen mm. It's gap. close. The gap. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yep. so that we can really prevent a hairline crack. Yep. Yeah. If we reduce the size, it will also reduce the cost. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Like 20,000 litres in but Australia is not enough because we have sure, drought. But I, I don't think uh, you really need that because your source is in, in Danau. Like Danau is very big. I open. was also thinking that one. What? Because we were aiming from the very beginning, we told you we off wanted grid. to be off the grid, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. But the, the water is very cheap. We had a big bill because there was a leakage there for two weeks. We have like 3,000 pesos. <laughs> yeah, there was because my mother was slashing. I fixed no, 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 I, I put my the. My mother was slashing, he ah, accidentally. Yeah. Like I fixed it there because yes. we went to the hardware store and I put the he coupling on. It. But oh. that was like two weeks or three weeks ago. Two weeks That's of leakage. Oh. Leakage. Oh. My sister didn't uh, realize. Oh, no, no, no. I, these things happen. Nah, That's okay. Nah, if you will see yeah. the water here, it's very. It's very better. Strong. Is this one? Is yeah. this is nonstop compared to Orwasa? Orwasa shuts yeah. down at eight thirty in the afternoon or in the evening. But it's really nice if you have water tanks here because what if there's a leaking in the main? Mm. And you oh, they have to fix for many months. Yeah, no, it's not months, it's days. Then it's days. Mm. You we have supply. Yeah, you can supply your... So I think we just have to remove the underground, underground. water tank. Yeah. If we have enough budget in the field, we can buy something and put it... Mm. If you want room, sir, Unless we can... Uh, Demolish this one air then put inside the water. Nah, that's. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't say area. No. There is no area at all. There is yeah. no. The only space. option was underground, but that's yeah. it. Yeah. So. Well, that's fine, honey. We'll just um, live with grid for now. <laughs> well, you know what? Because you're going to do suspended slab here somewhere oh, for yeah, the deck. Okay. We, can, we can put it there. Maybe we can just run both yeah. pipes down the sides of the yeah. house. Oh, then do it here. And we put it there. And then, you know what? We can use that to fill the pool so we don't have to pay water for pool. Yeah, we can make it a cistern here. It, in, in this area, we can make it yeah. this one. So we can put, we'll backfill all this and put the this fire pit area then yeah. under the deck. Yeah. Because the doors under the deck oh. were on this side. Yeah. So we can just put like a small, maybe 5,000 litre or 10,000 litre yeah. next to the stairs there. Oh. Yeah. And it's, then it's, all that water can come in both both sides and straight into the tank. Yeah. It, it's more, it's not costly, sir, because here. Uh, it's low. Uh, yeah, oh, it's it, higher up. It, it, we, we will not uh, dig anymore. Yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. If we will dig it, we as uh, small. Yeah. Yeah. And just make the dimensions enough for like yeah. maybe ten thousand liters or something. Yeah. So it's more. It's and more. Yeah. Yeah, but our design said uh, we will we will uh, we will not uh, make a very big that will we will a uh, chamber chamber. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you have division inside. Yeah. So that if there's a crack in the chamber, if we really can. If there's a crack, so that chamber only will fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we will make it the chamber maybe a three cubic, three cubic, three cubic. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think the quote for that one was something like, "Honey, how much was the quote? Like three, four hundred thousand for the?" Okay, it's all for the underground. Uh, I so yeah, I forgot as well, but that's all right. So if we do it this way, it should be a lot cheaper because it's yes, above cheaper. ground. Okay. Yeah, above ground, and and also, sir, the the it's the two hits because we will put slab on grid 
out nang suspended slot. slot. Yep. Oh, it's already covered. You yeah. We, we already have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True. So the suspended slab budget is already. It's part of that. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. If if you're happy to do that, that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 uh, yeah. We can make Same. it more. Good good brains. <laughs> good team. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Yeah.